Hello, I'm Sister Jean, and this is the Friday we call Good. What exactly was Jesus' mission? One simple viewpoint is he came to show humanity how to live according to God's original purpose in our creation. The overall purpose of all human beings we are God's work of art, as we're told in Ephesians chapter 2. In addition to all that, of course, each and every one of us has an individual mission or purpose, and some of us spend a whole lot of years searching for that purpose. God's dream for us, as millennials are wont to call it. So. Did Christ achieve his mission? Yes and no. Yes, in that we have all the clear records of his teaching and modeling. And no, in that his followers have had a hard time comprehending and practicing them. We know the narrative of Christ's passion pretty well and probably do some soul-searching as we hear the different characters batter him with ridicule, sarcasm, denial, opprobrium, condemnation, and out-and-out -out torture. We feel our hearts going out to him to console and defend him. But we're also not very sure we'd have had the courage to do that. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah is very blunt about the reason Christ was crushed. As he puts it, he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. Somehow, the prophet parallels Christ's sufferings with the sins of us all, and also somehow those very sufferings win for us the chance to be justified, that is, to measure up to God's dream for us. He shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for their offenses. Remember why Christian prayers always end with some form of the phrase, through Christ our Lord, amen? The word through is the key here. We owe all our hopes and possibilities to better this world to Jesus. He is our model, our hope, and our love. We thank you, Jesus, for showing us the way even as you paid the price for us, your horrible death and apparent failure. Help us to see you now in our suffering sisters and brothers as the powers of evil, vicious self-interest and greed continue to batter you in them. Make us strong together and individually to fulfill your dream for humanity. Amen. Let it be.